Challenges for 2022, number four. So this week I want to talk about capability challenge. Capability challenge is particularly, in my view, pointed at those individuals who are in the last quartile of their career. So those individuals who are probably between the ages of 52 and 67. I know some of you may debate the numbers with me, but here we go. I'm seeing a, an approximate 8% increase in the number of those individuals in that area of the demographic working party group who are wanting to retire early. Precipitated predominantly by an awareness of a better work-life balance that can be achieved. Obviously, a lot of people have realised this over the last years or so. The impact is a significant loss of skills from organisations, and that loss of skills is having a big impact in terms of, particularly at this time, um, uh, a consequence on organisations who are having to go into strong negotiations, um, also mentoring, upskilling and coaching. Best practice is being lost because those individuals who are leaving uh, organisations early in their yeah. career are finding that they uh, that they're not no longer those skills are no longer yeah. available in their business. As a consequence of that, actually, we all know that skills pay bills, and therefore, on a go forward basis, one of the big challenges for 2022 is about how organisations retain that talent in their business. I'll be picking up later on about the war for talent. For me, that's all about more junior people, and uh, in advance, I do apologise about the dog barking in the middle of this. I'll catch up with you soon. Bye now.